ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. Um, those of you who are here were not here last week. <laughs> I'm not tweaking. <laughs> These are tremors that I have. And so my speech sometimes will be challenging. Sometimes I'll get in a flow and stop tremoring. It's, it's very inconsistent. And uh, I'm going to do my best to present this in a way that is easily understood, in a way that you can benefit from this greatly. But first things first, I want to say thank you to the Better Business Bureau in Burnsville, Minnesota, for hosting this webinar. Um, this is such a beautiful building, and it's an honor to be able to be here. Um, hello, sir. Um, it's an honor to uh, be able to present here. This is a beautiful facility that has an amazing production studio that you all should check out. Um, and I also have to give a shout out to SCORE. I'm not reading off my notes. I'm just going to speak from the heart. Um, SCORE, I'm grateful for. Not only have they been mentoring since the 60s and have changed thousands of lives, but really, I don't know if it's just thousands because, you know, when you give people hope and you give people opportunity, it has this way of changing things in their life and therefore they become more infectious in how they like they, you know, when I'm in a better mood, I'm spreading love and I'm spreading light and that's infectious, you know, like negativity can be too. And I believe that the SCORE organization has really helped millions upon millions because they, there's really no way to register the impact they've had, but they are a hope machine. They've given hope to the hopeless. They've given opportunity to people that normally wouldn't get it. And truth be told, um, for me as a mentor, which I'm so grateful to be able to do, it's allowed me to have, like I've mentored and coached on my own for a long time, but I'm not necessarily the best teacher. I don't have those skills. And, um, and I learned, I'm self-taught in all of this that you're gonna learn today. And so I have a different language in how I describe things and it doesn't really register with a lot of people. So it's been really hard teaching. And what I've been able to learn through the mentors that mentor the mentors and the coaching and the leadership from SCORE um, has helped me become a better teacher because I wanna be great at this. And truth be told, these are, this is my second webinar and I get to do it with tremors again. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I love it and I'm grateful for this. So I'm grateful for SCORE. If you're looking for a good organization, they did not ask me to say this. I don't even know if they take donations to be honest with you, but if I was going to want to sow into an organization that is doing a lot of good in the world, SCORE, uh, SCORE absolutely 100% is an organization I recommend to you. So um, thank you for sharing the gratitude. I'm gonna see if there's any more gratitude in the chat. I'm grateful for the lesson I'm about to le receive. I'm grateful for my, I hope I say your name right, my true, uh, thank you for taking action last week. I wanna acknowledge you for taking action and being eager and diving in and learning and growing. You are somebody that just off my short interactions with you, I'm excited for what's coming for you. Um, um, Let's see. You don't see my email. My email was showing. Jose, good to see you, brother. Thank you all. Ah, Nintum, my brother. Good to see you, man. Thank you for being here. Grateful for that, that you're here. Emma, I'm grateful for you. Thank you for being here. Um, all right. So here's the thing. There is no way to get into all of this information and give you the step-by-step -step guide to how to do everything. But there is, you know, I, we'll go through this and talk about it. And also want to say this before um we get too started i am not endorsing any particular company that i'm showing in this if anything i tried to remove bias at all possible and also not get hung up on what i love and what i think is great because what's great for me is not great for others i gotta tell you i can build some really cool websites on certain platforms and others i'm just like what <laughs> I, Squarespace makes my head want to explode. But anyway, that's another, that's a whole other conversation. But one of the things that I want to get into before, or before we, before we start into this, I want you to think about what problem you want to solve in the world. 
what problem, what injustice do you want to solve? What solution to an issue, whether it's a product invention, if it's a, if it's a, if it's a, uh, a sunscreen or a sun protection product, and I won't go into a rant about sunscreen, but I mean, you like there's solutions to problems, there's solutions for children with autism, there's, there's solutions for people that um, have trouble communicating their solutions. So like, what, what problem do you want to solve? Because that's the spirit that I want you to embrace this information with. You can go in any order. There's a strategy. What I'm going to talk about today is based, one of the things that I get into is all in one platforms. But you can also go at your own pace. And that's what I'm hoping to be able to teach you. This is, could be overwhelming if you try to do it in one day. Um, the good news is that this is fine tuned after seven years. And I assure you that every single one of you, every one of these things that you're about to see, every single one of them you could do, because if I can do it, you could do it. And I, I mean that sincerely. Um, so don't be overwhelmed. Just know that there is that there's a lot of information here, but you will have access to it after this is done. And I'm not endorsing any products that we show, but I want to show different options for you all. Uh, please take notes. Um, and also, I promised you guys some things that uh, that that would be special. There would be tips, and this is not put in the presentation. Good time to. And if oh, by the way, if you ever need specific details about any of these things that I throw out, you can also contact me on my website because I don't have time to explain why I'm recommending all of these. But IMDB, for your content and your personal profile, allcasting.com. I know this may sound wild, but if you can produce content, if you can speak on camera, you could probably find other innovative ways to get hired using your talents. And one of those ways is allcasting. Filmfreeway.com. I talked to you about some different ways to get exposure that are unorthodox. If you have a podcast or a live stream broadcast that you do, or you're going to create one, or if you do special video series, or you create a documentary, you create a film, you create a short film, you do any of that stuff, you can submit those to festivals, believe it or not. Film festivals, a lot of them accept that. And also, Speaking of IMDb, it's, you would want to register all those things that I just said out loud on IMDb also and give yourself credit because we are all going to be producers also. And, and though for those of you that say that I don't know how to edit and do things like that, well, it's easier than ever. <laughs> it's kind of a miracle. If you are somebody also that has aspirations, I uh, have here in Minnesota, if you have aspirations of speaking on camera, getting hired to be in uh, professional photographs, you know, we are surrounded by OEMs here. So Target, Best Buy, there's some big manufacturers here, Dick's Sporting Goods. So they're shooting commercials. And the way that agents are done here, it's very, very easy to get an agent. And there's no reason if you're showcasing your talent on camera, in the media, through your company, whatever, I'm telling you, I don't care if you say I'm too skinny, too tall, too short, too fat, whatever. I promise you there's a role for you. So you, and that's the same way with allcasting.com where you would, that would also prove true. You could also lend your voice for video games. That's another way to make money. So the Wayman Agency, uh, I highly recommend here in Minnesota. Uh, they're fantastic. And, and honestly, you could just talk to them about being represented and they'll walk you through the process. It's not challenging and it doesn't cost you any money other than your headshots. Um, every one of your businesses should be registered on Google My Business. Um, it is a bonus. I know that a lot of people already know that one, but at the same time, a lot of people don't do it. It's very, very important because one of the things that it's able to do is it lets you know how many people are checking out what you're doing. Um, it's a great way of metrics and so forth. And also, if you're, if you're asking for Google reviews, it's a great place for your Google reviews to show up. And from what I understand, I, cannot, I can't guarantee this, but 
Google, the business reviews, the Google reviews are going to count towards SEO. Like it's going to be an SEO benefit from what I understand. Don't quote me on that. Um, because this is a media conversation, independent media, your media platforms, the whole idea is to establish yourself as an expert. And one of the main ways to do that is to get yourself in the press. Um, so there's a website called helpareporter.com. Uh, it's by Sizon or Harrow. Um, but you could literally uh, search uh, helpareporter.com. And you, I mean, I've been in also the Australian news, the Sky News Network. I've been in a lot of different press um, because of it. And it, it's all been free. And I've been interviewed to be able to do some really cool things or contribute to universities. And it, it's just, it's a neat opportunity and it, it can be really, really good for your overall exposure and letting people how, get to really get to know you. Or you can just establish yourself as a leader in your field. And free press, well, free press is awesome, unless if they're saying mean things about you. Of course, that probably helps too, to be honest. Um, another, another little hint too, if you're publishing on your website, you're publishing content out of your website, highly recommend you create a Reddit account um, they are now in sync with Google. So the way search is changing, one of the things that they're going to start doing is showing the um, um, uh, Reddit like groups. Like So when you ask a question, you're searching for something, Reddit's going to have some favoritism. So and, and Reddit has always been good for SEO. And if you're an SEO person that you, you, know, you care about SEO a lot, like I do, that's a great place for you to share your website links on. LinkedIn newsletter is absolutely invaluable. I hope that you're using it. It's a better tool. Instead of writing really long posts, put it in a newsletter. It means more. You can put the SEO in so it's discovered by search engines. And it's a great way to be able to promote things in a very authentic way um, and to speak your truth, speak your heart. That's a great, I highly recommend LinkedIn newsletter. Not enough people use it. And yes, it's annoying to get the invites all the time, <laughs> but it's it's a valuable tool that people should use, even though it's annoying to get the invites. Just saying. Um, also, in your content that you're producing, make sure you're indexing it. From your website, index every single link. It's very important. And the last thing, if you're looking to get booked on podcasts where people, you can talk about your company, you can talk about what you're doing, talk about your dreams and goals, um, uh, matchmaker.fm. It's not a dating website, but it's like a podcast dating website. And uh, <laughs> it's it's really cool. And there's you can it's a free version. And it also shows up in search engines too, believe it or not. Um, it's a great way to backlink your content to um, your videos. It's a great way of getting discovered. It's pretty wonderful. Um, but it's a I've met some amazing people from around the world on that on that platform. And I highly recommend it. It's a lot of professionals, really good guests. So you can find inter people to interview. And then also um, you can get interviewed yourself. All right, where'd my drink go? Not alcohol, it's electrolytes. I try not to drink. Makes my head hurt looking at it. Okay. So here we go. The step-by-step -step guide to creating a multi-niche media platform. Let me see if there's questions before we get into this. Uh, Laura from North Carolina, what's up? Thank you for being here. Um, Jess Owens, can you get my email for the PowerPoint? Oh, no, you got to contact me on my website. I'm not doing extra work for you. No offense. Um, <laughs> could you please write them down? Thank you. Okay, grateful for living. Thank you, Kentrell. Good to see that. Okay, what does Q&A say? Could you please write those names down here? Help a reporter. Oh, I, I like I said, you can reach out to me on my website and I will give you whatever you want to ask for. Okay, I'm going to shut this screen down so I can see. All right, so a multi-niche multimedia platform is, is this is the media company in a box philosophy, the concept. Um, when I first started, <laughs> it was... I mean, it was a much different process than it is now. And I'm very fortunate that AI came along when it did. Um, I don't think AI is as great as everyone says, but it is also a very valuable tool because of how it can help simplify the process and 
really make being your own media organization possible, regardless of how much money you have. And obviously, when you have money to put into things, it's it's much better. It's a much better uh, when you have money to play with and money to 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 put towards your goal. That helps, of course. But there is a way that you can do this with no money, very little money, and so forth. And so, and at the same time, you don't have to do it all at once. And we're going to talk about bootstrapping. It goes into more deep detail in the other presentation. Um, but bootstrapping is going to be important because I'm not telling anybody to go quit their jobs. But if you've lost your job, there's an opportunity. But you can build this slowly. You don't have to do it all at once. I spent a lot of time developing this, building this, and figuring this out and learning it. So I'm hoping to simplify the process for you to make this way more fluid for you and so forth. But the number one thing that matters, because I, I've said it from the beginning, it's about gifts, talents, and intellectual property. For me, that this, is, this can be anything you want. You can be a pure... Like if you want to have spiked glove boxing and that's what you want to sell on your platform. So God bless you. Like, absolutely. If you want to do that, if you want to do, um, you know, turtle wrestling or t turtle racing, like you want to create up stuff that's just goofy and fun. Absolutely. You can do that. But really, my hope is that you understand that you're all created for a purpose I know that you have goals. I know that you have a problem that you want to solve, an injustice you want to shut down, a voice you want elevated. Maybe it's your own voice. Maybe you're tired of not being heard. What is it for you? And guess what? Your goals and vision can expand. It doesn't have to be the same thing, but what is it right now? Like, what is it for you that you want to take action on if given the opportunity? So knowing, knowing, obviously, you probably know what your gifts and talents are. You, you, you know, if you've sat with it long enough, you know about the hard lessons you've learned, the things you've overcome when you had your heart broken before a big game or you, you, uh, you know, I mean, what the, the, you, 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 the, 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 the part that you were expecting, the job, the, the, the raise that you were needing and it didn't happen. And then, but you, and you thought it was over the time that you were homeless, were facing homeless, and you thought your life was over. And then it wasn't. Like the things that you learn from that, you lost your child. What did you learn? The healing process. So these are all things that can be used in media. And now look. There's been a lot of bleeding hearts and a lot of other, you know, other people that have used media to manipulate people. And so this is another reason why I, I love independent media so much is because it gives you permission to be raw and true because independent media is not about what the is, is not about pleasing the algorithms. It's about getting your message heard. It's about getting your message heard. It's about expressing yourself the way that you feel led and unsilencing yourself. What is your goal? What is your vision? Because media can take you there. Independent media can take you there. But you can't worry about what other people want, what other people expect from you, or trying to please them. Because odds are, those aren't really your people. Truth attracts your tribe. So I talked about all-in-one platforms. All in, if you, who knows what an all-in-one all, all platform is? Anyone in the chat? Sir, do you know what an all-in-one platform is? Basically, it's a platform that's offering you everything you need. Like you say, <laughs> Squarespace. Right. And that's, uh, um, what is, well, okay. Oops, let me go back to that. So the all-in-one platforms that I'm speaking of, typically, you know, some people have a website and they have their Facebooks and they have the Instagrams and they're monetizing in different ways, trying to grow it in different ways. 
um, but their their content is posted there. And and then other platforms where you like if a word you have a WordPress site, um, that's not WordPress wouldn't be an all in one platform. Although you could customize it and add add ons and other things and add your paywalls and um, your 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 content hosting service. I mean, there's a lot of add ons and things like that, but you have to piece it together. And in my experience, it's kind of like ingredients in food. Less is more. Like the more ingredients I see in food, I should be nervous. And I'm the same way with a bunch of code and other things on websites. I'm like, wait a second, did I do that right? But I want to make clear, like I'm self-taught. I have no real training in any of this, but I had to learn how to do it because I had a dream and a vision. So I'm not an expert in the how-to of any of these things because I didn't have time to become an expert. And I get bored, to be honest with you, because I want to learn the whole big picture. And so a lot of what I'm going to be able to tell you is to help you avoid mistakes, but you get to make it your own because this is about you and what you want, not what I want and not what I believe. So an all-in-one platform will be your e-commerce. It will be your publishing distribution. It would be your video hosting, allowing you to have a membership site, allowing you to have a uh, well, membership where you you know pay pay per video, pay per month, pay per year, allow you to sell courses, host courses, host live video, host your podcast, sell your art, public, sell your book. So platforms like that, which I'll, I'm, I know I'm going to name someone here somewhere. Okay, I'll go to niches real quick because I know I'm going to get to platforms. So your niches, I put the S there. Because from the beginning of internet time, I think they said to sell on the internet, you have to identify your niche. And that's true. To succeed, that's how it's always been. And I hated that. Because I don't want to talk about the same thing all the time. And I'm not even the same person every day. So, I mean, how in the world am I going to get up here and talk about the same thing? I'm going to sound like a hypocrite sometimes. Like, I really wanted a platform that I could express myself for where I was at. And so like, if I didn't feel like I wasn't in the headspace to do interviews, well, maybe if there was something on my heart I wanted to share. And so I would step into that kind of broadcast. So I've always been a multi niche creator and, and it's, you know, there's, yeah, it, 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 that's, that wasn't the right strategy at the time, but I'm here to tell you that I believe that that is the future and everyone should do it. And that's a good thing, by the way. So health, targeting health-related content and services to a specific audience segment. What health problems, like, what have you overcome? What are you dealing with? What are you going through? You know, I mean, I have a whole, I mean, like, <laughs> I do a lot of product reviews. I haven't really had health conversations, even though that's actually would be a broadcast that I would enjoy doing, especially bringing in experts to talk about things. Cause I nerd out about, I'm the guy that goes to the health food store and sits in the, and looks at every ingredient. And then if I don't know what it is, I look it up and, and then I ask AI and then my kids make fun of me because they think it's so goofy, but now they do it too. Anyway, technology, that could be AI, it could be the fourth industrial revolution. It could be editing. It could be, Anything. I mean, what there's so many technology, even you talk about classic technology if you wanted, but uh, ideally this make these things are easier, but you have also can look at these niches as revenue streams. And so how many, like for you, you could have three different things in health. You could have a physical health, um, you know, you could create content. You, you don't have to stay in one category. In fact, one of the things that we're going to talk about one of the things, the mistakes I believe that people make with podcasts is they have multiple seasons where they would be better off doing mini series. So a series of uh, uh, seven, seven videos, right? Like, so I pick a topic that I want to talk about with health um, and just do seven videos, seven videos that would become podcasts that would become blogs. And then really to take another step forward, you could also just as easily turn that into a book, but we'll talk about that stuff later. I don't want to spend a lot of time on all of this because you can see it, but I want to, I, I think I said this last time <laughs> and I am going to say it again because I mean it more than I did last time. 
educators are, will be the new celebrities in this world that we're going in. Teachers, thought leaders. Teacher homeschool is going to be revolutionized. Education is, we are so far behind in the United States. It's scary, but I believe we can catch up because there are people that are moving aggressively. But it seems like there's been a black cloud put over the United States when it comes to education and the future of education. We are far behind. So, I mean, homeschool for a lot of people is looking like a really viable option. So therefore, teachers that were not being appreciated, maybe lost their job, um, maybe weren't willing to go against something that they believed in, whatever it may be that they don't have a job, um, but they're really passionate about teaching. I know a lot of people like that. You're, the future is yours. The future is yours. Virtual education, even just regular media channels education. The platforms are, are created for educators. And because think about all of the different lessons and the courses and the other, the other things that you're really passionate about teaching. It's not about selling anymore. It's about educating. No one, I don't believe, I think more people trust what's being, trust, do not trust what's being sold more than ever. And I don't, I don't blame them. I mean, prime energy, or prime, not energy, but the prime hydration drink. Thought it was the bee's knees for a long time. And then all of a sudden they get sued for having a forever chemical in it. And then all of a sudden now I'm like scared to drink it. And I loved it. But then they're fighting back saying, no, this is not true, blah, blah, blah. Like, how do you know what to believe? Because I don't have the ability to go taste that. So it's like, oh, crap. Another thing I like, I don't trust. And so we need somebody to educate about the preservatives that are being put in our drinks. The hydration waters, by the way, the alkaline waters that are 9.5 and have electrolytes in them. And, but if you actually look up what kind of electrolyte that is, you're like, wait a second, that's not a real electrolyte. <laughs> that, that could be a problem. You know, we need people to educate. We need education for people that think differently so they don't grow up thinking they're dumb. And AI and some of the, the advancements that we have are changing that. And, and, and making it where learning accessibility is, well, more accessible than ever. These may be jumping back and forth, but that's okay. Um, so short-term goals, focus on enhancing user engagement and optimizing content distribution strategies to drive immediate impact what i this means to me when i when i when i read this is what's going on in your community i'm all for changing the world but if we don't heal our communities first we're not changing nothing's changing so i know there's there's a lot of different content distribution strategies there's so many different places to put your content um, I, again, am a believer in self-hosting and using the other platforms for sharing the links that would drive people back to my platform. Um, but, the, but what you can do to get started immediately is look around you. Talk about what's happening around you, not what's coming through your screens. You want to stop fake news? You want to stop fighting with people that you care about? Talk about what's happening that you can see with your face and not talk about what you're seeing coming into your eyeballs, telling your vision. But long-term goals. I pray that your long-term goal, somewhere in that goal, paragraph, sentence, four-page dissertation is... I want to leave a legacy. I want to leave an impact because this is the real opportunity for it. I don't, you know, going out in the streets and fighting and marching and protesting, I don't believe is accomplishing. This is a, just a personal feeling because 
even in the spirit of proper protest, there's always some people that try to dis like disrupt things to make it look worse than it is or make it worse than it needed to be. Because protest is good, but the, the thing is, is we need protesting through the media, through independent media. That way we can get the truth out. That way we can get heal our, help our communities heal. And that all at the same time can create opportunity for others also. Because one of the things about media and my goal in, in what you learn is that you see this as an opportunity to get away from electronics. Like, yes, I'm talking about these media systems, but the whole point of them is to automate your life a little bit so you can go out in your community and be a part of your community, go play in the park, go play with your kids, play with your, you know, enjoy your family. And believe it or not, like as much pro technology and all that stuff I am because of the opportunities I'm pro human and I can't tell you that the world economic forum and the United nations plan and where a lot of this came from will actually happen. Like they could shut down the internet any day. And does that mean that I, who knows? We don't know. The thing is we don't know. We just don't know anything for sure. However, the people that rule, like make the plans for the world, this, this information and this has been derived from what I've learned through them. And like, there's got to be a balance. Don't let AI become your God. And I'm not saying this in a preachy way, but don't let it become your brain. Use your brain. You need your brain. In fact, you can work with AI in a way that helps build your brain and does make you smarter because it can teach you. But don't let it overcome you it gets to be a balance and and i'm only saying that because i'm going to admit that it's very it's a weird battle for me from what i grew up daniel's prophecy even even in this uh uh who the, oh my the wisdom guys oh my gosh i'm brain farting on his name um Solomon, like the word, the wisdom of Solomon, that, that book, it talks about, I mean, it's kind of alluding to, you know, allowing these machines to become our brain, to become our God, to become our soul focus. And, and I, and it's, I can see how that can be. I fight with myself all the time because I feel more comfortable talking to AI than I do humans. So not to get preach you on this but i understand the fear i understand like because being in the metaverse you can get lost in it and not want to come out especially when you're immersed with things that feel good that are stimulating your brain in a way that's keeping you from being sad depressed or lonely so there's some traps here but at the same time we can go about this in an intelligent way so setting up a domain name and hosting uh, for your services. I, I believe without a shadow of a doubt, the most important domain you can own is your name. Now, having your company name website, all that stuff is wonderful. But you need your own name. You need your own domain. Now, maybe social credit scoring will have something to do with it a little bit, but not really. I think it's important because when, it, when it's your name and you're walking around and you're introducing yourself and you're out in public and you're out in the community serving, hey, what's your name? I mean, a lot of people go look you up. They look up your name and it's just better to have your website there. I mean, there's a lot of other reasons that I could go into and I'll, I'll spare you all that, but I, I sincerely believe your, your name is the most important domain you can own. But one of the strategies that I like is the... Um, so there's an ecosystem. So I like the mothership strategy. The mothership strategy, and this is kind of how I look at with the, with the self-hosting and being able to distribute out from your own platform, because what you're doing when you're creating and hosting on your own platform, when you distribute the content where you put it, 
those are like connectivity points. So you can go to LinkedIn, you can go to Facebook, you can go to X, you can go to Reddit, and you can flipboard uh, IMDb. You can you can put those links there and you, you distribute your content. And, and then you have other forms of your intellectual property that you're being shared at. So you can cover a lot of ground, but for people to engage with that content, essentially they're coming back to your platform and your website. And so you want your, your, your web platform to be an experience that people hang out at. It's not just a business card. In media, it's your portfolio. And you should host all of your intellectual property, showcase your gifts and talents there, and save the, 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 the clips and other things. Like you can just share that on those other platforms of social media. But you want to make sure that there's a clickable link going back to your website. And it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to just all of a sudden you have millions of people coming to your website. It's not like that. But where we're going with how SEO and everything else is done, you will benefit from doing that. You will benefit from it. So these are other multi-niche platforms. Kajabi is great. And look, they, these platforms cost money. I want to make this clear that you, a lot of your existing websites can be turned into multimedia or omnimedia websites. Absolutely. A lot of them can. Some of them can for no extra money. It's a case by case thing because not all platforms are one size fits all. But Kajabi is an awesome, dependable website. It's not perfect. Um, Podia, I, this is, First of all, there's a free option with Podia to get your feet wet with. Um, I just saw that yesterday. I almost used one of my other domains on a Podia site, and I still may. It's really good for publishing. If you're wanting to create content, you know what? I got to say this. Um, not in the presentation. Got to say it. This is why I told you to have a pen ready. Um, you don't have to blog like other people. In other words, I'm, I'm getting ready to change the way I blog. I found a really great platform called presentations.ai. So stay with me here. I, so the same post that you would post on Facebook or LinkedIn, I kid you not, you could plug that into presentations AI and it would create a PowerPoint presentation for you with beautiful images and everything. So, I'm looking at social media and now it's obvious, every, you know, a lot of people are using AI and it, because it, uh, it, they all kind of look the same even though they're different. No matter how great you are at prompting, it's still pretty easy to tell it's AI. And I'm not hating on it because I use it too. And I use it to give me professional language because I don't write like this. <laughs> I make up my own words for half of, half of the language that I have. So I wanted everyone to be able to understand it. So I took my words, shape it with AI. Um, also, I've done that. I think I said last week, I've done it to help me avoid fights with people too in text messages because I didn't want to sound like a jerk because I can sound like a jerk sometimes. Anyway, Podia. Online courses are easier to, 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 to make than ever. In fact, that presentations.ai, there's beautiful.ai. Um, those make PowerPoint so much easier. And, and so you, in theory, could go create an online course on Podia for very little money. That, that's a revenue stream for you. Again, I'm showing you these things piece by piece. It's when you put it all together, you have a media company in a box, but you can apply or do any of this at your own pace. Okay, I got to start cooking here now. I'm, I've talked for too long. Er, I've got a lot of pages to go. Okay. Um, choose. A, I highly recommend that you choose a web hosting platform that, um, again, the efficiency as far as 
you've got more features on the website that you need that will give you more media distribution options. Highly recommend that. Um, but also you, the, um, the platform, if the platform is hosting also, it cuts out another step and it allows things to be more efficient. So if you do something goofy with your domain, um, it, they, they're, they're quick to fix it. It's easier to fix. I, so I've already, I've repeated, I've said this a few times and I think I said it last week too, but your domain name, I, I do, um, I, I personally think you need to have your name, but also coming up with clever company names uh, is also awesome. And if you're feeling really froggy, you know, I know people that buy domains for the names of their shows or their broadcasts and what they create also and their movies. And, you know, those are all good domains to buy. Um, but I personally believe in, this is just a personal belief that I, on my platform, I want it to show all sides of me, whether that makes me successful in the eyes of others, whether that helps me win popularity contests, I don't know. Um, it's not, it's not about that, but for me, it's, it's about getting to, to be me and express myself the way that I feel led and hoping at the same time to provide value in the, the ways that I choose to do that. That feels a lot better to me. And at the same time, getting to take advantage of some of the things that I told you about, getting to act in commercials or do voiceovers or be in a movie, um, you know, or produce movies. Like I have time to do all of those extra things. Also hang out with my family. But that's because of my platform allowing me to do those things but you know you don't have to one of the mistakes that i made in the beginning is i overcomplicated everything trying to come up with titles for what i did i i had struggled with that because i did so many different things um you know but just you don't you simple is good and you get to have fun with all of this SEO optimization is, is crucial. Um, I highly recommend you watch some videos on the new forms of SEO. And like, it, it's totally different. And truth be told, chatbots are really good at helping you write in the new <laughs> proper SEO way. And ironically enough, NLP plays a role in that. So... Consistency also across platforms. One of the things I said before about being clear on your vision and all of that, well, I wasn't. I wasn't when I first started. And, and frankly, there's times that I get antsy and want to change again. I went through so many identity changes in my own mind. And, you know, I've talked about my mental health problems before. Um, you know, it was hard for me finding a brand because I was trying to find myself. And why I felt led to do it by creating videos and talking about the things that I talked about for the last six, seven years, um, you know, I, it was just what I felt led to do. It felt right. And, and I still don't regret it. But at the same time, my branding changed all the time. It changed with my identity all the time. And what I thought I was going to be. So don't go all in on this process unless if you're sure of what you want to say. Mind you, people have short memories now, but the internet is forever. Sometimes it's what we don't say that matters. Like I'm still learning that. I have a hard time censoring myself. Sometimes it makes me feel like my head's going to explode trying to censor myself, but like, I don't need to say some of the things that come out of my mouth sometimes. It's just, you know, but at the same time, when we share what we're led to share, what we're trained to share, what we were meant to share, when we stay in our lane, that's true to ourselves and our purpose, it makes us not say stupid things as easily or things that we wish we could take back. 
Because typically when we're speaking from that place, we're not sharing opinions as fact or making assumptions of what we know. Consistency across platforms, um, like I said, have a clear message and I, you can mix up strategies, but like it's good to have a plan and those, those, those content planning calendars are very, very valuable. Okay, so if you've never set up a website before, got good news for you. It's so stupid easy now. I personally love the process of creating websites on different platforms. I've taken advantage of every free trial you can imagine to find the one that felt intuitive for me, that felt right. I learned on WordPress, and I don't know if this is the slide. Um, I hope you have your pen ready for notes. I need to tell you this before I forget. One of the great, if you want to learn how to build a website and then all of the, the moving coding aspects and parts of it, like the details, learn at your own pace, and then also meet a community of people that are doing the same thing. And speaking of tribes, by the way, I highly recommend Wealthy Affiliate. They usually have like a 14 day free trial. And if you're a novice, but you're just like, hey, I really want to learn how to do this. I want to learn how to sell products online appropriately. Um, I want to learn the nuts and bolts behind it. If you want to do that, I recommend Wealthy Affiliate 100%. I, I, I'm grateful for them. That's all the free trials I took advantage of. They all just got me in this click funnel hell where I was constantly being upsold. And, and I am so was so impulsive at the time that... I'm like, oh my God, I'm not going to get the deal if I don't buy it real quick. I mean, I was just such a victim of click funnels back then, but it, it's really, it was powerful marketing. But anyway, while the affiliate was great, I learned you can learn at your own pace and like just really, I'm talking like every little detail that you need to, um, they're great. And I'm not, I don't make any money from saying that. It's just very, very true. And, you know, there's how-to videos that are more specific you can get on YouTube, of course. But, again, if you want to be in a community to immerse yourself in and learn and maybe even make some friends, I do recommend them. So, if you don't know how, there's a lot of platforms that have website builders. Some are more advanced than others. Um, it's, it's really, really easy now. Um, and again, every platform is different, but you don't have to be intimidated by the fact that, you know, I mean, some of the more advanced, powerful websites have all the built-in tools that you need. Um, Pre-made custom templates, if you're not, if you don't have time to try to customize the design and every single picture and, you know, whether it's creating custom art through, um, through one of the AIs or on Canva, uh, by the way, if you have a nonprofit, can't you can get Canva for free. Um, they're really great to work with, by the way. Mm. So there's pre-made customizable templates that can make the process really quick. There's a website builder. This is not in the PowerPoint, so you might want to write this down. Um, say you like a website a lot. Like you just think it's the coolest website ever. Like, wow, I wish I could have a website like that. Well, you can. There's a platform called 10Web, uh, number 10, W-E-B. And uh, uh, sorry, 10Web, um, customer service is amazing. It's inexpensive to work with them. They're, they have guaranteed speed for mobile. Like I'm getting ready, like my the mobile portion of my site's all funky and it's slow and it really bothers me that I can't figure out why. So I have someone that's fixing it for me now because um, I don't know how that happened. But their platform, because I use Dutta and I love Dutta, except for the mobile part. And uh, But 10Web, you can say, this is what I want my website to look like and it will create it for you. It will give you a skeleton. So if it's Netflix or Disney, whatever the website, it'll give you... Uh, 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 it, it, it'll make your website look like that is what I'm trying to say. Okay. There are so many cool navigation menus also. 
Um, the future, the future of search, like with video, is is so cool. Like uh, there's a platform mm -hmm. called Muse.ai that you can search for a word in the search bar of the video player. That's who I use for self hosting. Um, you can search for a word and it will pull up every single video that has that word and take it ex to the exact spot in the video that you're talking about that subject. Um, now it's kind of a wasted feature right now because that's such a new thing. Not many people take advantage of it, but it's really neat. And I, and I love the search engines and Muse is someone I do recommend for, um, self-hosting. So, I believe that the most essential components of a multi-niche media platform are simply this. Well, home, that's the mothership. Having a blog or a newsletter that you're distributing from your platform. And by the way, that newsletter could be a broadcast that you also turned into a podcast that you also turn into a blog. That in itself, going out to a newsletter, there is multiple revenue streams potential in that alone affiliate relationships product placement banner ads merchandise uh videos of course podcasts i think courses webinars are super important to have um where you're providing education that could be a form of your video content Books. I believe uh, the books are the foundation of your platform. And here's the thing. Personal opinions aside, it, it's easier to publish a book than ever. I think I said that you could literally take your broadcast. Say you've done a, a, a seven episode series of interviews of people that specialized in a certain, uh, well, I say civil commitment. Well, you could... I mean, to turn that into a book is nothing. You're talking about an hour or less of work. And I mean, it could take longer if you're not efficient with like Canva. But I want to say this too, the same way that you do a podcast, the same way you do a blog, the same way you upload a YouTube video or a Rumble video or a Odyssey video or a Muse AI video is the same way you publish a book. It's the same thing. It's very, very, you choose categories a little bit differently, but for the most part, it's all the same process. And when you see all of these different things, because podcasts could be, well, would we just talk about, we talked about series. Instead of doing multiple seasons, I'm going to do special short series, kind of like a Netflix show, but I'm going to have, Six of them, seven of them, eight of them. And some podcast platforms would allow you to do that. No extra fee. I mean, heck, you could use Spotify or Anchor for free. Courses are easier to create than ever. So easy to do. Blogs, I mean, you know, you, I mean, you, it, I, there's some platforms that you can build three blogs off of and you know, you could have one that's focused on health. You could have one that's focused, you're providing education. And then you have others that you just rant. I could use a good rant column right now. In virtual worlds, whether you're using a headset or not, virtual worlds are make really powerful, um, what do you call them, uh, portfolios. Displays allowing you to see. So the other thing about having a multi-niche platform is the organization of the content. Think about how YouTube's set up. So you, you can have on your website, you can have a page that's dedicated to one form of content, another page dedicated to another, you could section them off in categories depending on the platform you're using. Platforms like Superpass and Usstream allow you to set it up Netflix style. And, you know, it, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's a kind of an, I, I've created a bunch of shows um, for other people, for myself, whether they're solo with other people. Uh, I've been, 
have produced several. I've got been able to do a lot of fun stuff, uh, you know, in my in my career with this. And but when you're distributing it on YouTube, it's like that content goes there and it goes there and you kind of forget about it. And you, it's just a video that goes out or it goes on Facebook and the video is there. And then in a couple of days, it's gone out of the out of the news feed. And so so a lot of the work and a lot of the things that we create, we don't value it. I don't value it sometimes because it's just like I did it. It's over. I've distributed it. It's over. But then when I built my first platform, and you have to understand, I have to fight telling myself I'm not good enough all the time and I'm worthless and, you know, beat myself up or failing or whatever it may be. And, you know, like, and, and like, ah, I haven't done anything or, man, I haven't accomplished anything. And then, and like, I forget. So when I built my first platform and I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I did all that? And not, this is not an ego thing, but I'm like, oh, so I don't suck at life. Needed to see it. And I think artists may go through this. Creators may go through this where they feel like their art, people don't like it, not worth anything. Beat themselves up. They get scared to talk because every time they try, they're silenced. I... I, I believe this with all my heart. Stop posting your full-length content on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, X. I don't care. I mean, if you're monetized, wonderful. Wonderful. If you're monetized on those platforms, then, to be honest, there's no reason why you wouldn't make more money on your own platform. Because that same platform that you're getting paid on, you could say, hey, guess what? From now on, I'm going to self-host. You may not get all your people. You may not even get 50%. But I mean, my goodness, I'm not very good at math. But on your own platform where you get to keep your own money versus sharing it with YouTube and Rumble, I, I, I personally like the getting paid what I'm worth much, much more. So not to say you don't want to use those other platforms. You should. You should use social media to be social, to have fun, to not be... I mean, to use it for fun, because here's the other thing. You can't get too crazy on those platforms. <laughs> I mean, they're going to censor the crap out of everything, and it's only going to get worse. It's, the censorship's only going to get worse. So you can't really share anything anyway, so you might as well just be on there to have a good time and have fun and share links to your stuff when you're from your platform. Because if you're way more likable on social media, odds are people are more willing to come check you out on your platform anyway. But if you're on social media being a jerk and spreading your opinions as if they're facts, well, you'll get those people that are in your echo chamber, but you will not be reaching your full potential. The full poten your full potential lies on your platform. So host exclusive content, use clips, other things like that for social media to lead people back to your website. And if they really like you, they'll come to your website. I Memberships, uh, we've talked about this before. Most of the self-hosting platforms have this built in. The cool thing about platforms, oh, um, Maestro, write this platform down, maestro.io. Maestro is an immersive media platform. And if you're ever wanting to, heck, if you've made a movie and you put it on YouTube, I challenge you to take it down and create an event on Maestro. Because from the last time I checked, you can use their platform for free up to a point. Um, and then there's like a revenue share thing that kicks in with it. But you should check it out for what is possible with it so if you're somebody that puts on events, I uh, highly recommend that platform. If you have a movie, a documentary, or you're looking for an innovative way to do a talk show, if you're somebody that creates products, it would be an ideal thing to do for your own home shopping network. 
Let's see. Um, we have a question here. Oh, please repeat what you said about Tin Web and mute. Um, Tin Web allows you to mimic the website. So if you like Netflix's website and you want your website to look like that, you can tell Tin Web to do that. That's how their system's set up is to duplicate websites. It's not 100% perfect, but it's pretty obvious what you need to do. And it's a very easy platform to build your website on, even if you do it um, from scratch. Okay, there was another question though, hold on. Um, oh, and Muse AI. Muse AI, you can do a lot of things. Uh, you can have hosted, you can self-host your content. You can have You can have courses on there, but it has built-in monetization but it also has a very unique search feature that is really powerful that I love. And the other thing that it does, other than the fact that you can edit on that platform, it'll automatically transcribe videos for you. Uh, it automatically cleans up the audio for you. It um, also will write the descriptions. It'll give you the timestamps. All of that stuff is included in the platform and it's so cheap starting out. Like you get a free trial, if you go on my website, you get a discount, by the way. And I, I do. They are a company. I, I, they're a sponsor of my videos. And, but you can get a discount if you go to my website and click on it. But they're where it says supporters. Um, but they have a free trial that you should. It's worth checking out. And you can also record video on the platform. So it's great for a lot of different things, but it'll do the SEO work for you. Uh, the embedded platform, you can do it with the transcript, without the transcript. It has a lot of really unique features. So that's what it does for Muse AI. Okay. Well, we kind of talked about podcasts already. Again, you can do long form podcasts. You can use platforms like Anchor for free. Of course, I don't, Look, there's it, nothing's ever really for free. There's always a trade off. Again, I'm a believer in self hosting. Um, but the thing, too, you know, if you don't have money to spend, you know, I, I, that's where you can use a, a platform like Anchor and you can create as many podcasts as you want. You could create seven different podcasts because you did seven different series. Those same audio podcast could just as easily be video podcast. And then you get the clips out of it. A lot of marketing material. Like I was one of those people when I first started out, I thought more was more, meaning I needed to create content every day. And I was obsessed about it. A nonstop would burn myself out. And it just, it was awful. I really believe with all my heart that less is more. If you take the time to do it to the best of your ability, instead of for the dopamine hit, to create something quality that you believe in to the best of your ability, doing the best that you can do. The, the cool thing is, is that you can save that on your platform, but then use platforms, write this down, Cut Labs. Cut Labs um, has a unique uh, thing going on right now with their platform where if you use their platform and offer your feedback, they'll give you two free months to use it. And what Cut Labs does will cut your, you could have a three hour YouTube video and it'll automatically cut the clips for you. And it does a pretty clean job. I'm not going to tell you it's the best platform, but it's going to get better. And the owners are really cool. Um, I did not get paid to say that, but I, I, I use Cut Labs. Um, and they have an affiliate relation thing, a fill, a affiliate program that they just started two days ago. There's a question here. Um, Maestro AI. No, it's not AI. It's IO. Maestro. Uh, do, just Google mm, or search for Maestro streaming and then it'll pop up. Uh, no. Nintom, no, brother. There's a... Uh, no legal implications, but it explains all of that on Tin Web. It's cool because you're still you're still changing it. You know, you're not using their content. You're not using copyrighted material. It's just the design, like the 
the foundational pieces off of it. So you may have the same foundation, but you're building a different house. I think that made sense. That just came out of me. I don't know. Um, let's see. Yeah. So we covered that. We don't need to beat up podcast. So all kinds of different membership things that you can do. You know, you can have, for those of you who have created a bunch of content and you're looking to now go on the exclusive side where you're uh, self-hosting and you're charging for your content, you can use your old videos for freemiums. Like there's a lot of clever ways to add value to those old videos and, uh, or you can provide value with them in a unique way uh, where you take your new content and you, you know, you do it right. I was in a hurry, you know, because I was trying to learn it all, figure it out, see if it was going to work. I wish I would have taken, you know, my dad's advice, what he used to try to tell me when I was growing up and I wouldn't listen was, you know, slow down. But I was in a hurry to learn and get there. And, you know, I don't think that that's really the right strategy. I've heard some people say, you know, hurry up and create, be the first to market and get it out there. You know, I mean, maybe that would have worked in the, in the old world, but I really believe the new world we're going into because you are showcasing your gifts and talents. I think you want to show people who you are, which is in, in the best version of yourself. And it's hard to be the best version of yourself all the time. There's, mem you know, one of your memberships that you could do is it could be consulting. Um, it could be, what, I mean, whatever your skill is, whatever, I mean, what is it of value that you have? Your videos, your content, you can create personal videos for people. One of the things that you can do, and I, I think I'm going to get to this, but one of the things that you can do, um, I think affiliate programs are really great. And I only recommend choosing affiliate programs that you, of products or services you use, because that's great training to learn how to talk on camera. Uh, to read copy. I think I shared this last week, but this is really great training for you because then what you're, you, you do, you could have a service where just like, you know, a QVC model talks about a product, you know, you can become someone's paid spokesperson or their affiliate or, and frankly, if they love their video and they share, you know, you're hosting that video on your platform, but if they share it on theirs, you know, that's a win-win. That's free exposure, but also you're allowing people to see you present and show another side of professionalism that you have that's adding value, and that's also a revenue stream. Um, so value proposition, clarity, clearly articulate the unique value proposition of each membership tier to attract and retain subscribers. Be overly clear, in my opinion. Like, don't... if. If you're serious about if you're serious about the people you're working with, speak plainly without, you know, the sneaky sales tricks and stuff like that. There's no need for that because you're enough. Like what you know is enough. And that and that has value for someone. Not the world may not be your audience, but part of the world will be. So just be very clear and straight up. Again, truth will attract your tribe, it will bring the people that you're supposed to help and work with. There's so many different forms of content that you can create to, to earn revenue, to bring in, and, and some of it can be free. Some of it can be paid gigs. Sometimes it's creating custom video for other people. Course creation and webinar. Um, again, I was saying this earlier, it is easier than ever to do this. And what do you want to teach? What are you good at? What, what are you, are you good at like some of, you know, I've been to a lot of count counselors and therapists in my life. And I got to tell you, I, I think I get more out of conversations with strangers than I have done them. So what I'm getting at is this. Some of y'all are just great at giving advice. Some of you are great at matchmaking. That's a skill. That's, I mean, I'm telling you that, if, if underwater basket weaving was your passion, 
This is the time for it to be your passion because you can monetize that. Payment integration is, I, look, it is so much easier when it's built into the platform because when you start adding all the pieces, it's like the ingredients we talk, talked about before. It's a lot. It's just so much more simple to have the payment paywall system integrated in your, into your platform. The interactivity, um, everything is really going immersive. I'm noticing that, like I love the way, if you've ever taken any of Google's classes, Google has certification courses, and, and if you don't have the money for them, they have scholarships, Corsa, Corsa, Corsa I think it's called. Um, they give scholarships also. And the way they present information is just really wonderful how um, they present it because it's the video, the audio, and the words. But as the words are reading, it's flashing. So it's just really great at absorbing in. I learn well with that. I learn really well in VR because I can touch and I can feel, can manipulate um, with my hands. And I, it's like soaking in the information for me. I learn better that way. So these, and for accessibility is, is huge um, in the fourth industrial revolution. In other words, we're really, I believe this to be sincere. Well, I believe whether the intentions of certain people are for this or not, they've talked about it. But it's very obvious with the technology available and some of the laws that are coming about with websites needing, it's not ADA compliant, but websites are going to have to be compliant for people with disabilities. And there's going to be consequences for the websites that are not compliant. Um, and so that's something worth looking into. I mean, people have opinions about that. But for me, I'm seeing the future for all the fear of robots and AI and other things. I'm seeing opportunity. I'm seeing that people with disabilities of all kinds, people with learning disabilities, physical disabilities, mental disabilities, even financial disabilities are gonna have an opportunity if they're willing to learn. And the information's out there, it's free, it's here now last week, the next few weeks, like people are given the information. I'm not the only one talking about this stuff. I mean, I'm talking about it in a different way, but other people, you know, like people want you to know this information because there are people out there that really want you included. There's people out there that sincerely want to see your gifts and your talents shine. I'm one of them. And by the way, one of the other courses I said at the beginning that I wrote, because I have two different courses, that one really long one that I'm glad I didn't try to do because I wouldn't have gotten through it. But the other one is specifically for artists. So if you're an artist, you can just go to my website and contact me there and, I'll, and just ask for the artist presentation. That's a bonus presentation for you. No, no cost. And you're not going into a click funnel for emailing me on my website either. I just want to make you have to work for it a little bit. Anyway, e-commerce integration. There are websites like Dutta, Dutta as in D-U-D-A. I think it's .io. .io um, has e-commerce built in where you, I mean, I'm talking hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands of products that you can white label that's built into their system. It's amazing. I mean, you just have to like, what is it that you really want to do? And there's a platform for you. And one of the things too, I want to offer before I forget and run out of time is that the other way that you can contact me, if you have questions about any of this stuff and you want to take a deeper dive or you want to know how your company can take advantage of these opportunities specifically, I'm absolutely going to tell you about my book, but I will absolutely talk to you and we can schedule that appointment through my website. And again, I'm happy to do this because I'm here to serve and teach this information. There's so many cool ways. E-commerce is going to be awesome. I mean, when I brought up Maestro, 
e-commerce is built into Maestro where you can shop in real time without leaving the screen. Webinars. When I was talking about doing quality work, I, I think about some of the broadcasts that I've done. And those of you that are podcasters would relate to this. Um, but you know, you you do if you if you're one if, the, if you're someone that produces your own podcast, you know how long it takes to to do all the work. Rep regard, your, the system that you use will can you know make things easier, of course. But it's a lot of work. And so looking back at it, I was looking at how many broadcasts I've done on specific topics, and I'm kicking myself now, even though they were fun broadcasts, they weren't really ideal for broadcast. They were ideal for a webinar. Like had I changed up the way I presented it, instead of doing it on YouTube or a podcast, but instead put it into a PowerPoint and did a webinar out of it, it would have been way more effective because as I was saying before, why I'm grateful for SCORE is like, I didn't know that as a teacher. I'm, I don't know how to teach. I'm just up here sharing what I know, but I don't have a formal way of doing this. I don't know, so I learn from other people. But I, a webinar, I had no idea people really actually learn better from webinars. I don't. I don't learn better from webinars at all. This is distracting to me. But for other people, I guess people will learn better that way. So um, I'm not an expert on email marketing, but I've spent a lot of time in the last week and a half learning that that is not a dying art at all. In fact, it may be, especially if you're wanting to build your own media organization, um, or sell your books or anything else is, you know, get people to give them, you know, your email. And by the way, like I said, if you contact me on your website, I don't have an automatic campaign. I don't do this. I probably should. Uh, Superpass has a feature that as soon as you finish a broadcast, it'll send out to all your newsletter. It's amazing. Like that, that is worth using Superpass alone. And you can also get a discount on them on my website because yes, they were a, spon are a sponsor of my broadcast. I'm just not broadcasting right now. <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't, I would, I would honestly, I'm not an expert, so I can't coach you up on this, but I would learn the proper way to do an email campaign um, because after all that I've heard recently, I, I believe it's more valuable um, and maybe because I don't know. I don't know what the full answer is why, but it's just, especially if they're people that are signing up on purpose, they weren't a bot list. Um, it wasn't like one of those things that you were at a conference and you just decided to sign something because you wanted the free toy. It wasn't one of those situations. Like these are sincere, genuine email lists, people that want your emails. Um, if you can build an email list with that, then or you have a really great free offer to give, uh, I, I highly recommend that because it's got to be better than social media. Because right now you're competing against AI influencers. AI influencers. Your, your YouTube videos, you're competing against AI-generated videos that someone just prompted, the video created and distributed automatically to YouTube that took mindless and seconds to do you're competing against that. Why in the hell would you want to compete against that? Like to go, if you're a YouTuber, you're a streamer, you're competing against robots and that. But if you focus on community and building your community and the email list and you're, and you're, and you're letting people feel you as a human, you can do something way more special than you could ever have done on YouTube because it was already competitive on YouTube and maybe the game was rigged for some, but the fact is now you're competing against robots. Mm. So I, this, this should be a no brainer, but when you're listing your products or services, definitely use detailed descriptions describing what it can do 
the benefits of it, obviously. You can use a chat bot to help you if you have a poor vocabulary like myself. High quality images are necessary. Um, there are some of the web platforms that will, like the, P, the PNG files are pretty big and weighty. Um, to have a really fast moving website, uh, you want to, to have those images turned to web. It's web something, I'm forgetting. Not an expert, but I did learn that and I do recommend it because it makes a huge difference. Um, clear pricing. Uh, so I want to tell you a mistake that I made when I, I had a period that I tried, to, like I, I didn't try, like I decided that I was going to start charging for my services and which most people are like, well, you, what you don't charge for your services. That's insane. How do you provide for yourself? Like, I, I, I understand that question. But so I'm one of those people that if I feel led to do something, I'm going to do it. And even if it doesn't make sense, that's just kind of how my faith works. And I've felt led to teach this um, for the last seven years and give it away. But there was a period where I got frustrated and impatient with the creator and uh, got frustrated. So I'm, like, well, I'm going to start selling it. And I, you know, and I got customers and it felt good until it didn't. So I don't know what that means to you. Maybe it's only for me, but I feel that it's very important to stay true to what you know you're supposed to do. So, but for other people that want to make whatever they're teaching or selling, you know, to, to be very clear on pricing, especially if it's a service, don't overpromise. It's hard to do. Heck, I fight with it all the time because I get so excited like a kid. Like I just get like a little kid about some things and I get excited and I get out of my body and then I'm like, oh, crap, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, so I'm going to stay with me here. So I've talked about affiliate relationships. Um, part of being media, part of multi-niche media, multi-monetization platforms is you get to create your own commercials for your services. And you don't need to pay someone. You can do it. And I brought up the affiliate relationship. That essentially, that's what you're doing. You know, you can use webinars to sell affiliate relationships. There's so many different ways that you can strategically package things together. But ultimately, what I would go for, so for me, I like to create products. So I'm talking right now, like I'm going to put together my own combination of products um, because it's something I'm passionate about and I'm tired of ingredients. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of the other ingredients that are in products that contradict the reason I bought them to begin with. Like there's literally, you can buy a, 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 an adrenal fatigue product that's meant to help your adrenal fatigue. And then if you look at the other ingredients that it has in those other ingredients, actually the side effect of them is causing adrenal fatigue. There's gut health products with things that cause you to have but bad gut health. I don't like that. Like I want clean, real products from nature. And so I'm, you know, I'm in the process of doing this now because this is something, this is a solution I want to bring. But guess what? You better believe I'm going to create a freaking commercial. Even if my head's bobbing out of my head, like I'm going to create commercials for it. Because why would I pay someone to do it when I can do it? You can do it too. Affiliate relationships, especially when you get to talk about things that you use and you love, it prepares you for that, but it's it's preparing you for more. There's other opportunities. You could get paid to do that for other people. You could do it for an affiliate. Or we talked about the agents and the acting, uh, the acting platforms where you, you can do get voiceover gigs and commercials and modeling and other things. And it's all shapes and sizes and colors and everything. More diverse, the better. You got tattoos on your face, fantastic. They got a role for you. And it's not always what you think. The world is changing, and I don't think it's as crazy and bad as everyone says, or some people say. My website, Cottrell, is joshuatberglin.com. 
I apologize, Jesse. Um, and I will, Jose, I will make sure that everyone has that information. I think I said that already. Um, Maestro, Joshua T. Berglund, there you go. Okay, sorry about that. I have 30 minutes. Oof. Okay. So writing a book is easier than ever. It's ridiculous. Like I told you, it's just like uploading a YouTube video now, except for the fact that you had to write a bunch of stuff. But there's a, a platform, if my is, I don't know if my is here or not, um, but I was excited when I told my no, my my told me about it. Um, my is the one that told me about Quobot, and it's a game changer. So if you're somebody that wants to rely heavily on AI, Quillbot will allow you to transform it into your own language a little bit easier. Uh, there's a free version. Um, but it's also for your own writing. If you like end up using the same word a lot in the same paragraph and you can't think of another word to say, well, Quillbot's really great for giving you other words to say. Um, I, I, and they even have, what do you call it when it's built into the the platform like Chrome, an extension. Extension, they have an extension for it that'll just show up um, on your website too. So if you're sending an email, it can make you, well, it can teach you how to communicate in proper English. Huh. Um, it's so much easier. So digital rights management, um, I don't, I'm not an expert on this, but I am, um, I am all for protecting your intellectual property. And this definitely help. So it's worth, that's worth exploring. Oh, virtual world integration. Even if you don't use a headset, the virtual world is an easy thing to add onto, in, onto your web platform. So let's say that, you know, I'm telling you right now that, hey, you should not share your premium content on, um, on social media. You should save that for your own website. One thing that you can do with some of these virtual worlds, especially like Arrival Space, Arrival.Space, you can build a platform for free and you can create multiple little worlds and design them um, in a way that, you know, uh, showcases your social media platforms. Or say you just want to showcase in a different way the different sections of your own platform. There's so many different things you can do and there's so many virtual worlds and most of them that I, not all of them, I'm sorry, not most of them, but there's a lot of them that are free right now because they want you to join, to experience it because it's not where it's going to be. But there is value in it now, especially in a rival space. It's, it's a neat thing to explore. It'll get you familiar with building in these new style of ecosystems. If you're an artist, it's a virtual art gallery. Um, it can be for your content, it could be for a webinar. There's just so many unique things you can do. And there's two virtual worlds on my website. Um, this is going, <sighs> I did this PowerPoint by myself, by the way. Uh, so it's going back and forth talking like a dyslexic person, kind of like me. So this got my personality perfect. This is good. I like talking like this. So I apologize for the bouncing back and forth. Um, so enhancing book sales through dedicated pages. You can create dedicated pages on your website. Um, you know, there's so many different things that you can do. I'm in the middle of changing mine out now. I had all of the translations of my book there, um, but I'm actually changing because I'm really about self-hosting and I'm frankly, uh, working with KDP and draft to digital and these other platforms, like I don't really want to share the money with them. And I understand that they have distribution and all that other stuff. And that's great. There's benefits to it. But Charles Dickens writers, um, is a, is a platform. They, they go in and they can give your website the ability to read the book or whatever you create on the platform. And yes, you still distribute to Amazon and all the other stores, but one of the things that you can create an experience on your own website that is more immersive um, and creates an enjoyable experience reading the book that's different than what you would get on Kindle or something else. 
Um, and so that's, I'm in the process of doing that with my own book and then I'll have it cheaper on my website. So I'm just going to be honest with you. The whole point of creating these things and putting them on my website is to create an experience that people want to hang out. So when new merchandise comes out or a new movie or a new book or something, anything like there's, or there's in a new virtual experience, um, like a virtual, whether it's a concert or who knows? I mean, there's so many, so many fun things that can be done. Um, not really into the motivational speaking tour stuff. I've done that. Um, it's not really my thing, but those kind of experiences and events would be fun. Also, I'm more for festivals where people can dance. That's my thing. <laughs> Anyway, um, but these del these you know the the showcase when you showcase and have your website set up a dedicated book page, you can showcase all the stuff, a full description. If you've created videos, one way I want to give you a little secret about with books, I highly recommend if you're going to self publish. This is not in the PowerPoint, so if you want to write it down, write it down. If you're going to self publish a book. I highly recommend making short videos to go with each chapter. You can use AI to do it for you, or you can create your own videos. You can use them using B-roll. Um, one of the things that helped my first book sell and become an international bestseller in four countries were the videos. Uh, we created short films for each episodic. My story is kind of painful to get through. It's, it's, it's rough. So, the, we did it. I, we decided to write episodically, and the videos were episodic too. And then we combined them and submitted them to film festivals. And we won, I, we have eight official wins, uh, 11 nominations for a movie we made with no money. And uh, that, but that also helped sell the book. So for a little bit of extra effort, and also because one of my goals is to. I don't want to necessarily create my story into a, a film, but what I would do and what I'm inspired by is, is telling other people's stories and doing that through film. I just published, uh, I have a free publishing service on my website. I give away a lot, but I published a prisoner's book uh, two weeks ago or no, no, it was after, I, maybe it was last week. I don't remember. I forgot what yesterday was. Um, but he's in a prison where his voice can't get out and he can't do interviews. And I can't interview him because I'm banned from a lot of these facilities for secretly recording my screen to expose what was happening in civil commitment. Um, that's how I've decided to use independent media is to be a pain in certain people's butt, especially the people that are trying to hide injustice. If you've noticed that I really care about truth and helping people have a voice, and I obviously want to inspire other people who are driven like that to use independent media for those purposes because it has power. I'm banned from a hospital in California because of what I shared online about them. And so while I'm not doing interviews because they won't let me get on camera with any of them anymore and do video visits with these prisoners, um, now I'm publishing their books so people can hear what's happening and hear about some of the innocent men that are being locked up with no chance of ever getting out. And we have two of those shadow prisons in Minnesota, but they're all over the country. So I have a, a, a spot for his book on my website also. I have a publishing page that it's on. So you can do the same thing again. And I'm not, you can publish other people's books. Yes, absolutely. But you know, you creating that sales page, I believe is very, very important in keeping content fresh on it. Um, I highly, I, I, I highly recommend looking into if you create something that you're really proud of copywriting it. Um, I think the fee was like $65 when I looked last week and, um, you can register your platform. So if you create a platform name, so kind of like Netflix, HBO, 
um, whatever your company is, you can, you know, you can copyright and protect the platform. If you have a certain formula or strategy, you can do that. It's worth looking into. I, I was kind of new to exploring this and w the more I learned about it, I got pretty excited and it's something that I've actually submitted for, um, is to pr copyright protect, um, some of the things that I've created. Virtual events are so easy to do. I obviously, I love humans. Um, I mean, it's easier to work with robots, but I do love humans. But virtual events can be done for nothing. And they can have a lot of value. And sometimes, you know, you may have dreams of hosting a big event, a big TV event like the Emmys or the Grammys or something else like that. Um, well, and, but you have no experience. You can use AI to help you craft a plan to generate, a, you know, a, a, an online event. And you can set the intention to grow outside of this online event and to have an in-person experience. That's part of my vision. Uh, to, just to let you know, full transparency, the virtual worlds that I have on my website are not complete. I don't even really go check them out anymore. I just have them right now. They're set up. It's there. But I'm not in there right now because I'm limiting how much technology I use because technology aggravates my trimmers. So, but you can create, I could just as easily schedule a meetup there where all of you could come meet me in my virtual space and we can have a conversation where like now I'm talking at you. You know, I can't hear what you're saying. I'll look at your questions in a second. Um, but you know, this, this would allow you to have conversation and dialogue. You could have a real time experience and it's neat. Do it for free. Interactivity. I love Maestro is a, another, I brought it up for film events, monetization. Here's the cool thing about Maestro. It's a win for the audience. It's a win for sponsors. It's a win for the people hosting it. It's a win. It's priced right, it's fair, the technology is awesome, it's proven, and it's a game changer for events. I wish more people would do it. You definitely wanna choose, if I brought up arrival space, there's tons of them, there's so many, and what you could do is you could search uh, websites like Arrival Space and find other options. Again, in the other presentation, there's more options because there's more depth there. Because um, so long-winded, my goodness. Okay, we have 21 minutes. So there's virtual goods, there's virtual experiences, virtual events, virtual books. Uh, there's sponsorship opportunities. Like there's some of these these virtual worlds that so many people go to. It's almost it, it serves as a billboard for whatever they're showing. If they have a paper, a new blog, I mean, it's a great place to put that stuff because here's the thing. These virtual worlds are actually ran by someone else. So the people, like you can access other people's stuff. You can go into their world. It's open. So you get traffic like a billboard, like, I mean, this is inside the virtual world, this, this, this big screen right here. That's a billboard. And the people that go in my virtual space see billboards, right? I mean, it's, they, they can engage with it a lot of different ways. See the Q&A. Uh, um, let's see. Um, okay, cool. Questions? Thank you all for being here. I don't know if I said that before. Okay, we talked about DRM. Protect your content, protect, protect, protect. Well, I, so the law is changing a lot um, and depending on how with intellectual property and if you really have questions, if you're gonna start a venture with someone else like say you're going to start a media company with someone or you're going to start a podcast with someone or a live stream with someone 
make sure you have a proper agreement in place. Whatever you agree to, it is a business. I know for a long time, podcasts were looked at as, I mean, some people just did it for fun. I got to be honest with you. I started a podcast not thinking of it as it should be a business. I did it because my dream was to have a talk show. My dream was to be like Oprah, Don Hymas, Opie and Anthony. I wanted to be like uh, Jack Delane to do the infomercials, the juice guy. <laughs> I love, I mean, the radio Wolfman Jack. I love talk shows, love the music. Ricky Rathman, love the radio guys. Nikki Six doing radio. I, I just, you know, radio talking play by play announcers. Like I was always more captivated that by that by TV. So for me, when I first started, it was because, well, I was chasing a dream, pursuing a dream. And it wasn't to, just to have a, a talk show. But that was a piece of it. So I needed to do it and learn how to do it. And what I learned was every time I heard someone give a step-by-step -step guide and how to do it, it made me hate it because I wanted to do it well the way I wanted to do it. I wanted to create the way I felt led to create. I, I, I think I said this in the last class. I had no interest in saying, hey, like and subscribe to my content if you like it. And Make sure you smash that button. Like that's a, it just, it douches me out. But I, at the same time, I get why people do it because that's what the algorithm rewards. I don't want to, it's just like being trained. Oh, it is like, is it, that's like another form of Pavlov's dog. I think I said that right. It's like you were being trained. So the thing about marketing your platform is everywhere you go, you're marketing your platform. I'm marketing my platform now. I, I don't have it. It's not in my pocket. Well, it's in my pocket because well, my phone is over there. Anyway, it's, it's here on these devices. And <laughs> but I am my business. I am, and my business is serving. And, you know, I, I, I sell what I create, but my business is serving. Like that's what I'm the teaching webinars. Like that's what I, that's what I'm passionate about teaching. And that's how I feel joy, but doesn't mean, mean, doesn't mean that it has to be that way for you, but you have to know by having this platform, you are the business, man. Everything you do, create cool merch. And that other platform, I don't know if this one gets to the merch or not. I totally forgot what was in this. Because uh, the other one's so long, I had to cut stuff out. I would never get through it. Okay, I've already told you about social media. Like, yeah, you get instant feedback, but some of it's going to be AI. Some of it's going to be trolls. You're going to get some courtesy likes and courtesy comments. Oh, you're awesome. And like, did you even read the post? You know, and so I, I just think I really believe that social media, the way that it is now is just going to disintegrate and not be what it is. I think the day of influencers are done, but the day of educators are here. And at the same time, if you have some really unique intellectual property that no one else has and no one else is talking about it, I believe that that is your business model. It's what you get to create. And you can use social media to share clips, entertain, be a part of it, give people a reason to want to come hang out on your platform. It's a different relationship than a hitting you up through a DM like, hey, I got this course that's for free. You want to come get in it? And or, or uh, you know, like and someone's pitching you network marketing or, you know, or the, 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 the people that love to blow up the sell through text. I think those days are done. I think they're done. I think there's a better way to go about it. I think it's changing. I think educators are going to thrive, especially when they are confident in what they're teaching and what they know and they have a unique message to share. There's so much value there. And, and honestly, we all have a unique message to share. Our truth. Not our, what our filter is making us look like. Not only posting on the good days. 
however far you want to take it, authenticity is going to be rewarded in, the, in this new world. So SEO, of course, is optimized content. Um, it's <laughs> I'll optimize your website. It's it's important. SEO is changing. We don't have time to go into an SEO course, but there's um, there's a lot to learn there. But it can be learned, and AI can help you learn it. Um, but this all like these meta the the keyword research AI will help with that meta tags descriptions AI will help with that. All of this looks taxing. It's not. Chatbots will do it. Even the free versions. I think it's super important to, uh, for your content optimization, use uh, tools that, that will um, that, that track your web traffic. What are people hitting on? What are people searching? Like it's important to know because maybe for you, it's as simple as changing up your description a little bit or changing up your keywords or um, to get the traffic going you know, for you. But pay attention to this because it's better than ever. Um, it's not as daunting as it seems. I'm not an expert at analyzing it by any means, but I can read it and I'm like, oh, okay, we're going in the right direction. And I've made a lot of mistakes trying to get exposure because I wanted attention on what I was trying to build and show people and to do. And of course there's ego involved too. Not going to lie. It's hard going, you know, having 500,000 viewers for something and then all of a sudden it drops off after you get kicked off and you have to build your platform. Like there's, it, it you know, it's hard to have an, go from an audience to none. It's tough. It's an ego. It's an ego blast. And that's more my issue than anything else. But it is hard, especially when using social media for my livelihood or what was helping me pay the bills. And so when I lose all of that, because I've relied on social media, because I wanted to talk about things like organ harvesting and other issues, you know, there was a consequence for that. And I don't have that consequence now because I'm on my own platform. So to see how I'm doing, to see if I'm hitting the right, you know, metrics, if you will, it's really, really good to track your analytics. All of it's built in. Sales, um, your sales performances, your SEO, your keywords, all that stuff is there for you. It's worth checking out. The, um, the other thing, too, is it will challenge, when you see that, it'll challenge you to do better or to change like, uh, I'm just going to be straight up. Like, there's, there's one person in the audience today, here live. Is that, was that my teaching method? Did I scare people away? Is it the weather? Is it family? Is it not really about me? I don't know, but I'm telling you right now, all those thoughts go through my head because I don't know. The thing about getting to look at your metrics is that it kind of tells you if you're on the right track or not. You know? You posting at the right time. There's so much more. Um, launching your platform. Moving back. We've talked about this before about being clear um, in communication. Be confident in what you're presenting. Don't try to go into a multi-niche platform all at one time unless if you have the content for it. Trying to write a book while creating video series and podcast platforms all at the same time is not smart because it will be very hard to do it in excellence. But if you're going to start building your platform, just know that I believe with all my heart that your, your website platform and your book being built kind of at the same time or writing your book with the publishing part of your book and the website development, like they, they, it, it's a good foundation to build your platform around is your book because, well, there's a bunch of free content for you right there. There's a, there's a course, there's a video series that can be created. Like there's so much that can be done with the content from a book to create 
extra pieces of content. One of the things that's in the other platform, and please forgive me that I don't have time to go into all the details of everything because there's so much, but multi-purposing content is a big part of the, the, the other presentation. And like I said, if you contact me on my website, you'll, you'll get that. Um, oh, thank you, JJ. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, look, optimal timing, the time's now. Like, are, what are you hanging on to? Like, are you happy doing what you're doing with your job? I'm not telling you to quit. But some of this stuff, you can start easing into taking a step. You, like, I, I have this weird belief, and I don't know if it's true, but I believe that if we take one positive step towards our purpose a day, not like one, I took a step forward my purpose, and then I took like 15 back. I don't think, I don't think that... Um, no, like one positive step forward a day. One thing to stretch your faith a little bit. I believe that miracles will take place in your life. Call me crazy, but I've seen it every day of my life since I turned my life around. Doesn't mean life is easy. Not at all. But living purposefully has a different feel to it than living a life that you don't want to live. So the timing's now. Um, ensure all aspects are well prepared before the full launch to mac maximize impact. There was a strategy with podcast. They said to, to record six episodes before you actually release it. So you can start putting out content and teaser clips. One of the rules in, uh, with franchises is you start marketing the location three months before you actually launch, because if you don't, no one's going to show up. So while if you're in, you fully until, intend to build your platform, create the content for it, you've got a good strategy and you feel good about it, I suggest to you to not launch your platform until you have the content ready to match all of the bases to make it financially worth it for you. And then when you go live, and then you index the page and you index all of the pages and all of the images and all of the video, all of a sudden you have the potential to start showing up everywhere. So there's a strategy to it. And as I said before, if you reach out to me and you ask for help, I will help you. I don't expect you all to know a bunch of stuff after today. This is a lot of information that I wish I could have gone into detail. But I will work with you. I will help you. You have my word. You can go through the score organization or you can go directly through me. I'm here to teach this. You can soft launch. I didn't release my book, Media Company in a Box, until I sent it to people from all walks of life. Doctors, entertainers, uh, uh, movie producers, educators, people in different countries and a, a, a few friends, and I got feedback. I didn't do that with my first book. Of course, I wouldn't have listened to anyone anyway. I was going to write it as authentic, authentically and raw as I needed to write. It was my first real book to write, and I needed to be honest in the most raw, pure way possible. And by the way, if you do go read The Devil Inside Me, I'm letting you write, but there's a warning on it, the beginning. But it's, it's raw. But I don't regret writing it that way. But for this book, Media Company in a Box, it needed to be, I wanted feedback. I was nervous. I've never taught this this way before. It's so much information. And it's a topic that most people just don't feel the need to care about. So why I spend most of my time talking about gifts and talents and purpose and disabilities and accessibility and inclusion and healing communities is because I didn't write it for rich people. I didn't write media company in a box for people. I mean, I, I want everyone to benefit from it, but the heart behind it and the why behind it was to give people an opportunity that just really feel like they don't have any opportunities. Whatever your definition of the meek is, but the meek, the outcasts, the people shunned from society, the people that have not been included in society, people that have been judged, have been ridiculed, have been cast out of their own churches. 
I'm going to give you a voice. Your voice needs to be heard. This is what this is for. This is for the mother that kept the secrets of being abused by her husband for years, and she kept it secret and let her own healing be neglected because she wanted she, she didn't want to hurt the kids, not knowing that there was way more harm done keeping the secret. There's injustices in the world that people don't know about. I, one, I will speak of it uh, right here. I have two minutes left. But people that are disabled, that going through the disability process, you know, I'm kind of weird the way I talk about work. And the truth is I don't work. I'm disabled. I'm on disability. I shouldn't even be here right now by myself. But that's how it worked out. I wrote it for people that feel alone. And um, because in my experience using media company in a box, I've realized that I'm not alone. I have value. Um, my message is for someone, maybe not the masses, but it's for someone. And you know what? That gives me reason to live. And so that's the heart behind it and the why. But I also want to say this. If you're already successful in business, you already have some common sense and know how to manage money, you will thrive with this. And again, please reach out for the more detailed presentation. There's two. But there's more details there, and there's even deeper dive in my book. I've made it free at libraries. So... You can ask your library for it if you don't want to pay for it, but if you want to pay for it, great. Um, there's more details. There's so much in here. And like I said, I'm more than happy to work with you if you reach out. So thank you all for your time. Thank you to SCORE. I can't believe they're letting me say these things, but I don't know how to speak differently. So thank you for allowing me to be authentic and just speak from my heart, as imperfect as it is. Thank you to the Better Business Bureau in Burnsville for allowing me to speak here. And uh, thank you all. Let's see. Um, okay. My Jose, my contact is on my website, joshuatberglin.com. J-O-S-H-U-A-T-B-E-R. G-L-A-N.com. If you have any questions, I'll stay here. Thank you, JJ. Thank you. <laughs> Alex, thank you. My thank you. I hope I say I'm your night. I hope I'm saying your name right because I want to. <laughs> I appreciate you. Nintu Chokku, good to see you, buddy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Laura. All right, I'm going to wait a couple minutes to see if there's any questions. I'm happy to answer questions. Emma, thank you. Thank you all for hanging out. Okay. Uh, Jose, it's... So I recorded video. Uh, so in the book, there's video. So each chapter title, there's a clickable link. There's a video and I'm trimmering and I'm kind of like talking the same way I'm talking now because I don't know how to talk differently. <laughs> so I go through the book, um, but there's video in there. So not necessarily audio unless if you don't, in fact, don't look at me, just, just, <laughs> just hit play and you can listen like it's a podcast. So it's, it's really hard to do an audio version because so much of it, the book is interactive because it's meant for you to go click on the studies and click on the links and go check out other people's websites, like other independent creators from around the world, different messaging um, that's out there. Um, Thursday session, I don't know about Thursdays, it's next Tuesday. Oh, wait, I have another slide, hold on. Oh yeah, okay. 
that's not that important. I've already said all that stuff. But I'm going to send it to you anyway if you want it. Okay. We're covering all the bases here. <laughs> okay. I hope you all learned. Um, I hope I hope this was beneficial. Um, I really do. And um, there's just so much. There's so much. But I hope that you have an idea of what's possible. You know, the one thing that's in the other presentation, too, it gets more into the white labeling. So if you're wanting to create T-shirts, if you're wanting to create merchandise to sell, that platform is, I mean, there's, there's platforms listed on that that'll show you a way to do it free, like Teespring and so forth. So, all right, last comment. And next Tuesday, yeah, next Tuesday. Thank you all, blessings.